Good evening, everyone. This is Nicole. I have seen the numerous videos from Lisa Cabrera about hogweed. And although people may not have hogweed around them, it's important to also remember that they're deadly plants you might have at home. And if you have children or pets, you have to be careful because, um, or just people who are nosy neighbors that, that might like to smell your flowers in your yard. You have to be careful because they you touch them or, you know, you may, you may handle a plant and not wash your hands or not wear gloves. After handling them, children have a tendency, young children especially, to put things in their mouth. Um, pets, same thing. Um, so these plants might have a nice smell or be very appealing to the eye, but they're dangerous for the most part when it comes to their um, adaptations that they have developed to defend themselves. So these plants in this list are dangerous and some of them are even lethal. So they're not saying that you can't keep them like these plants in this picture, for instance, very beautiful plant, beautiful color, royal color. Um, so they're not saying you shouldn't keep these plants, but watch out for your children and animals because they might get sick or worse from eating the leaves or the flowers. So this is a beautiful little buttercup. I've never seen buttercups before. I've only heard of the term of endearment, but this is what the buttercup plant looks like. The little white flowers that turn upside down. Um, so they have, let's see. Well, it's actually called Lily of the Valley but <clears throat> I see them as buttercups because they look like little cups. So the Breaking Bad fans, you remember that Walter White used the sweet looking plant for some not so sweet deeds. Consuming its toxic compounds called cardiac glycosides can send people to the hospital with symptoms like dizziness, vomiting, rashes, and diarrhea. If left untreated, those little bells can even cause death. So be very careful when choosing the plants you want in your home. Now these just look dangerous to me. They look like sea urchins um, to me. Like they should be in the ocean somewhere. Castor oil plant. So I use castor oil, but I've never used the plant itself. And it says, although castor oil can play a part in many home remedies, the actual plant is more likely to kill you than to cure you. The seeds contain one of the most poisonous naturally occurring substances known to man. Just one seed can kill a child, as the toxic protein ricin can cause severe dehydration from vomiting and diarrhea. And if you remember, um, a few years ago, they had the ricin scare where they had um, the rice and people were trying to send it to people to hurt them. So it is extremely toxic. So be careful with this type of plant. We come down, this looks like, uh, I think this is rhubarb. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, rhubarb. So it's a garden vegetable. The stems do make delicious pies, but don't try using the leaves. Eating too much will shut down the kidneys, occasionally proving fatal. And the, I've seen these flowers before. I forget. Let's see. I'm going to look at the name. Foxglove. Okay. Yeah, these are very beautiful. They grow very tall in these stalks that look like um, very narrow trees. They grow up in a, a tree. Very, very nice. So it says, don't let the pretty colors fool you. Hmm. These bell-shaped blooms and their berries entice kids, but contain a compound used for treating heart failure. 
eating them is like taking an unregulated dose of heart medicine. Wow. And that's according to the Poison Control Center. Now these are nice. Very beautiful. All of these are beautiful plants. Wisteria. Thankfully, climbing uh, this climbing vine rarely harms humans, but the seed pods are toxic to dogs, cats, and horses. Head to the vet if you develop symptoms like vomiting or diarrhea. Okay, I'm not going to the vet if I develop symptoms like that. I'm going to take, um, I think they meant head to the vet if your animals develop symptoms like vomiting or, or diarrhea. I'm going to a human doctor. These are pretty, wow. These are lilies, okay. I remember these around Easter. They're very popular. Um, they endanger cats even after spring. That includes common tiger and daylily varieties. Eating just a small amount can lead to acute kidney failure or death. Wow. Ignore the little dog. These look like elephant ears. You see these a lot. Um, doctor's offices, um, waiting rooms. I see these a lot. Like in the corner. Okay, I am going to try my best to pronounce this. Di Diffenbachia. I hope I pronounced that right. Diffenbachia. Also known as dumb cane and elephant ear can become deadly if ingested, causing the airways to swell shut. Wow. Even brushing against it can cause burning or itching. So that's similar to the hogweed. But it doesn't look like hogweed. It looks more like a lettuce. And at least in this picture it does. And I know they grow very big. I saw some at the museum. They were huge. Huge elephant ears. Okay, these look like daffodils. The bulbs are the most poisonous part of these so-called friendly flowers. So you might think twice about planting them if you have a dog who likes to dig. Ingesting too much could cause vomiting, diarrhea, convulsions, tremors, and cardiac arrhythmia. Whoa. Well, it looks like a little bouquet. Hydrangea. These popular blossoms contain a toxin that is no joke cyanide, but don't uproot your plant just yet. Pets and humans need to ingest quite a bit of these flowers for the effects to be, um, be fatal. So I'm guessing this is like the amygdalin, amygdalin that you would get from peach pits. I have to look it up to be sure. I see these flowers at the, at the nursery. Oleander. Eating only a small part of this plant, which flowers in white, pink, or red, can be fatal. In one case, just one leaf was enough to harm a child. Wow. Symptoms of poisoning include drowsiness, slowed heart rate, and shaking. So it must affect the nervous system. This little flower. This is rhododendron and azalea. These beautiful blooms look picture perfect peeking out over a white picket fence, but the entire plant is highly toxic. Ingesting a flower, stem, or leaf could lead to abdominal pain, difficulty breathing, paralysis, coma, and even death. Okay, y'all, y'all on some other stuff. Wow, that's crazy. Like, oh, I already know what this is. Oh, dun dun dun. Oh no. Water hemlock. I think this is in the same family as uh, hogweed. These small white flowers might appear in your garden as weeds, and if you have curious pets, you should remove them. White hemlock's toxin, which smells like carrot, attacks the nervous system <clears throat> and can cause serious harm to animals and humans. Okay, water hemlock. It looks like hogweed. Well, maybe a little bit shorter than hogweed. 
because from Lisa's videos, hogweed can get up to 15 feet tall. But I remember she said they have small flowers, small white flowers. Wow. And the hogweed um, smells like carrot as, as well, or it's in the same family as carrot. Okay, this is a nice flower. Oh, it's a philodendron. So they had rhododendron and philodendron. It says, for the philodendron, these sap of these trendy houseplants can irritate your skin and mouth, resulting in throat swelling, breathing difficulties, burning pain, and stomach upset. Severe reactions are rare, but it's still best to keep philodendrons away from kids and pets. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. English U. I've never seen that before. Wow. This entire plant is poisonous. Okay, well, won't be getting this. Save for the berries. But the seeds are the most toxic. The alkaloids throughout the U can cause convulsions, paralysis, and in extreme cases, heart failure. I'm noticing that a lot of these are neurotoxic plants. Mistletoe. Whether this parasitic plant, which probably makes an annual holiday appearance in your home, no it does not, forget all that, it can cause death, has been, can cause death, has been a debated but it can cause digestive problems slowed heart rate or excuse me heartbeat and hallucinogenic effects in humans in large doses and is of particular harm to pets okay and then the next one will be the easter lilies could be deadly to your cat so that's it for this article i hope that you learned something about these dangerous plants and remember that although they're beautiful to look at, they are here to reproduce themselves. And if we're trying to eat them or we're disturbing them while they're trying to grow and reproduce, they have adapted. They have developed ways to protect themselves. So just be careful when you're searching for plants um, you know, to beautify your home or maybe to change up the look of, of your home or maybe your garden. You're looking for something um, that's different. Just be careful when searching for what it is you want for, um, you know, changing the look of your landscape or um, <clears throat> remembering that if you have children or pets, just to be careful make sure you have your pant pot your plants excuse me in a pot or up off the ground so your your children and your pets can't get to the plants as easily but that's it for me you guys let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video have a great night